What is rounding? Rounding is a strategy used to shorten or change numbers. Rounding involves either increasing or decreasing a number to the next digit. This helps when adding or subtracting the number. So how do I round? Let me introduce you to two of my friends to help you with that. Meet little guy. He represents all the little numbers out there. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. His favorite sayings are, I like you just the way you are, and stay the same. And this is big guy. He represents all the big, tough numbers out there. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. His favorite saying, you know what, you need to grow up. So let's get down to it. How do I really round? Well, you want to follow a couple steps. Step 1. Look at your number. In this case, it's 362. Step 2. Read the question carefully. Round the number 362 to the nearest 100. It's important to find the key information. Round the number 362 to the nearest 100. That means thinking about place value and changing the number in the hundreds place. And remember, when rounding, the answer always ends in zero. When I teach rounding, I always say that you should read the question carefully. Round the number 362 to the nearest 100. The first step is putting a box around the number you want to round to. In this case, it's the hundreds place. Next, once you've boxed the number that needs to be round, cross all the numbers after it out. Then, once you've crossed all the numbers out, turn those numbers into zero like this by writing zeros above the number. The last step is deciding how to round, up or down. And to do this step, you're going to need to think about little guy and big guy. In this case, the number behind the box is a 6. So, is 6 a little guy or a big guy? That's right, it's a big guy. So in this case, 362 would round up to 400 because big guy would tell the 3 to grow up. So now you try. We're going to round 639 to the nearest 100. So remember our steps. 1. Which number is in the hundreds place? That's right, it's the 6. So we're going to put a box around the 6. Step 2, cross all the numbers out behind the box. So we will cross out the 3 and the 9. The next step, turn those numbers into zeros. So let's put a 0 above the 3 and the 9. Finally, we're going to look at the 3. Is 3 a big guy or a little guy? That's right, it's a little guy. So it will tell the 6 to stay the same, because he likes him just as he is. So 639 rounded to the nearest 100 is 600. Let's also look at how to round to the tens place. It's really quite the same, just with one difference. Let's look at an example. The example is 874. The difference here is we're going to look for the tens place. In this case, it's the 7. So let's put a box around the 7, just like we did before. Next, cross out all the numbers behind, in this case the 4, and turn it into a 0. The difference is, any number in front of the box is going to stay the same. So just pull the 8 up. So right now you're looking at 8 and a 0. Next, just do what you did before. Look at the number after the box. This number is a 4. Is that a big guy or a little guy? That's right, it's a little guy. So in this case, the 4 is going to tell the 7 to stay the same, because he likes him just how he is. So 874 rounded to the nearest 10 is 870. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you learn how to round.